Okay, YouTube, this is my entry into Mike uh, Animal Tendencies uh, competition. Check him out, it's a great channel, a brilliant prize. What I'm going to do now is just forage some local ingredients. Going to make up a uh, little bit of lunch, maybe set a basher up because of the rain, and then I'm going to make a couple of feather sticks for this competition. Uh, use the feather sticks to light the fire to cook the lunch. That sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so here are our uh, gravy roses. When you crush these up, they give off a, uh, a brown powder and we can make it up into a, uh, a nice uh, meated gravy. But uh, don't pick any more than you need and, um, you know, leave some for others. Okay, so what you've got to do with the gravy rose is you uh, get the roses in your palm of the hand, strip all the uh, leaves off, and then what you've got to do is uh, really tightly hold them in your hand and you need to pour some warm water straight through your hand into the container that you've chosen already. Hold them really, really tightly in your hand. You've got to squeeze out all the gravy. It's really imperative that you try and get every last little drop out. Wow, that should make us a nice gravy. Wow, here's another great plant that's uh, going to go towards our lunch. What we're going to use this for is, uh, this is the uh, world famous oil leaf. Now what you do is you get yourself a big handful of these leaves. You have to lay them flat, roll them up in your hand in a nice thick uh, bundle. And uh, as you squeeze them, you can get some uh, cracking cooking oil to come out of these leaves. So let's show you that. Okay, so here are our oil leaves. Now you can't be scared to give these a really, really good squeeze get all the oil out of them you can. Wow, so I'm just fortunate enough to have found myself a pork chop tree, but the trouble with this tree is that uh, it's not fruiting at the moment, it's out of season. But if we're lucky, we can have a little look around. Oh mate, look at that. We might just find a couple of sausages growing. Okay, so here in the bushcraft undergrowth, what are we gonna be able to forage to find for lunch? Oh wait. Look at that, a beautiful red onion and two lovely potatoes. That looks like lunch. So there's all our ingredients. Let's get this bangers mash and onion gravy cooked up. Let's get a fire lit and oh yeah, let's make some feather sticks.
service. Okay, cheers Mike for running the competition. Um, my choice is number four. Not the greatest uh, feather sticks in the world at my end, but uh, bangers, mash, caramelized onion gravy. How bad's that? Okay YouTube, all joking aside, I've had a great day today. I haven't made feather sticks in ages, and today I've made half a dozen. There are a few fundamentals that are really important. You've got to be able to light fire, make fire three different ways. You've got to be able to purify your water three different ways. And you've got to be able to make a meal out of nothing. And that's what my little film was all about today. Cheers you. Any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.